Well, Russia and the world woke up to extraordinary scenes of an enormous mushroom cloud smoke billowing dozens, scores of feet into the air over a uh, factory in the Moscow region, the district outside the Russian capital. Uh, It's the Zagorsk plant. It makes optics. At least that's what we understand it used to do. That's what it was listed as doing. And those optics were parts that were used in Russian missiles, in fighter jets, uh, in weapons and in night vision goggles. So effectively, uh, there's been a huge explosion, uh, an unexplained explosion on the site of a factory uh, that makes military parts. Russian officials are saying that 45 people have been wounded and five of them um, very seriously. We know from uh, social media social media videos posted uh, in Russia that uh, the force of the explosion has blown out windows uh, many, many Uh, blocks away from the actual explosion, so an immensely powerful blast. Russian officials saying that it was a pyrotechnics warehouse, that actually the factory had leased out a warehouse on its site to a fireworks company. Now, uh, those claims have been met with uh, significant disbelief here in in Ukraine. Now we don't know what caused this explosion uh, or who was behind it, but the fact is that when something goes bang in Moscow, people are asking, is this the work of Ukraine? And the reason people are asking that question is because Ukraine has launched a series of successful drone attacks on the Russian capital with aerial vehicles. It's also launched a series of successful attacks on Russian shipping with maritime vehicles. Now, the very fact that Ukraine has demonstrated, developed and demonstrated this capability whilst it's been engaged in a fight for its existence on its own territory is an enormous victory for Ukraine. People in Russia and indeed people around the world were aware of Ukraine's capability to take the fight into Russia. You know, Ukraine was a country that was invaded, but, um, you know, they are Um, fighting back by trying to damage Russia's military supply chain. And one uh, one way of doing that would be to try and disable or disrupt uh, industrial production of weapons. Now, we we don't know for certain whether that is what happened here, but it certainly would appear to have been, from a Ukrainian point of view, a legitimate military target, because this was a plant uh, that was listed as making parts for missiles and weapons that are being used against Ukraine in Vladimir Putin's war.